Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have a fix for a problem that light workers may be having like I, a light worker myself, am having right now. Um, there are some spiritual groups uh, of spiritual adepts that, that will attempt to manipulate the um, the eighth chakra above the head by casting their thoughts into our our eighth chakra when we are unawares, when we're not noticing it. Um, and they do this for a very good reason. They want to evolve our souls with their superior intellects and thoughts and presence there. The problem is that we don't want them to do it without our awareness about it, without agreeing. And I myself will never agree to have anyone manipulate my eighth chakra, anyone at all, except for my ascension team. That's their, like, ballpark. Um, so I've been kind of at my wit's end what to do because when a spiritual adept who is a leader of a group decides to do this, why then, by, by attempting to, like, enter and... Uh, mind control my eighth chakra above my head he uh, say while I'm resting or napping he, what he does is he brings the karma of all the people that that work with him all of his students with him and places it in my head and that means when I wake up I have to I have to do a lot of clearing you know for his group and I don't believe in grouping I believe in Advaita um, uh, making one's relationship with God himself and not with not with other groups on earth not with earthly groups so no matter how good the group you know it's, it's okay to join groups but it's not good to to glom our karmic reactions with theirs you know what I mean so just a big bother say there's a hundred people in this person's group then with all good intentions and without my permission, with, without my free will permission, he decides to make me better while I'm asleep and I'm unaware. Ah. So I didn't have an answer. I can't convince them not to do it because they think they're on the moral high ground. And today I finally came up with an answer and it's only for the light workers uh, or other people who are aware of their eighth chakra, the space above their head and want to keep it clear. The thing of it is this, most, most spiritual adepts purify their diet. They are very strict vegetarians. They're very careful about what they eat, yes? And so you can get them to ungroup from you and to go away by sending your own awareness up to the eighth chakra and across to their eighth chakra and saying this, this is the charm, this goes like this. Wouldn't you really like to have a hamburger? Wouldn't you really like to have a hamburger? Wouldn't you really like to have a hamburger? That's it. That's the counter spell. And uh, it keeps them from making our mental, our higher intellects into their kind of cottage cheese. And only caveat I have regarding that is Please don't overuse it. You don't want to get um, overbearing with other people. Only say one to three times, and only if it's absolutely important. If you cannot talk to them in the intellectual realm about it and get them to stop, if, say, it's become a habit, then you can try it. You know, many religions feel that it's all right to eat hamburger. I myself don't like hamburger that much. I, I tend to stick to a vegetarian diet myself. So I understand that this is quite a temptation, but it's a, it's, a, it's a fix that works right away because it's socially embarrassing for the head of a spiritual adept group or for the people that are higher up in that group. Now you know, to my fellow light workers, I hope this helps. I hope this helps for all of you to keep your eighth chakra clear. <laughs>